hope you're doing well. Hope you're still keeping up with your goals. Um, I kind of am. Uh, this month wasn't great, and I know I started the last update video where it was like, January is a, uh, <clears throat> is, is a practice month for February, unless February also sucks, in which case February is dress rehearsal for March, and that's kind of what ended up happening. <laughs> so, uh, if you're new here, I make stupid arbitrary goals every year, and this is one of my monthly updates for the end of February, start of March. Um, the goals this year, there's 10 of them, 10, uh, some of them I call cluster goals, which it's like, they all belong together, kind of the same idea, the same intent, there's just different ways to do it, and so it's like, one goal is like, improve my business, and that could be, that's four goals, technically, and so it's like, if I don't do, you know, one, I could do more of the other three, and it still makes up for it, and I'm still like, progressing my business, so in doing that, it's kind of a way to, um, open up the arbitration, arbitrariness of it. Also, I need to shave. I can't grow a facial hair, so it just looks dumb. Uh, but here, anyway, here's where, here's where we're at. So, I have to sneeze. Am I gonna sneeze? I've heard if you look up, it comes. It's, it wants to come. Oh man, it's not gonna come. <laughs> anyway, um, Oh, we have ice with caffeine today. This is our drink of choice. This is pretty good. They're like energy drinks, uh, but there's way less caffeine and, and gross stuff in them. Uh, so they're slightly healthier. Anyway, um, tastes good too. Tastes, it's the closest you can get to an energy drink flavor without it actually being an energy drink. So anyway, um, let's get the overall goal. We're up to 9% completion rate, which I wanted to be at 10%, so I'm a little off. We're 9.05. <laughs> which is increase of 4.23% over last month, which is a, um, it's a minor decrease, but it's not, it's not way down. Like last year it was like, it was like seven and then it was like two. So, uh, anyway, the goals this year <coughs> are 100 hours of hockey skill practice, ride 2,460 miles on bikes, functional, my functional training goals, which is four goals, which is mobility, um, kettlebell swings, which I changed, uh, at the very end, just yesterday, I changed it from kettlebell swings to kettlebell ballistics, I'll explain that a little bit, uh, Turkish get-ups with a kettlebell, and, um, swinging weight, time swinging weight, 100 hours of swinging weight, um, my Apple Watch goals, I've got two, I'm trying to walk four million steps and burn 500,000 calories, um, read 50 books, take my dog Bear on 50 park adventures, have 75 unique experiences, uh, business goals, which there's four of them, uh, pay down my debt, uh, max out my IRA, um, make videos, like this, and, uh, show my work on, make social media posts. Um, and then take and finish 50,000 photos and finally create 500 pieces of content. So how are we doing on those goals? Well, 100 hours of hockey practice. We are at, I'm going to turn it sideways. It makes it easier to read. Uh, also, I, I keep track of everything with uh, Google Doc. Maybe you can see it here. If we tap the focus. Come on, focus, baby. Maybe it's too close. I don't know. There it goes. You can kind of see what I'm looking at. Uh, anyway, um, so 100 hours of hockey skill practice. I'm at 686 minutes, uh, which is about 12%, which means I'm off. I should be at um, like 5% or 5% more. So I should be at about 15%, uh, 16% at this point. Uh, let's see, ride 2,460 miles on bikes. Doing pretty good on that one. I'm at 332 miles, which is a lot less than last month. Uh, which is only a gain of like 140, which last month I did 180 or something like that. Uh, so it's 13%. That's pretty close to on par. Functional training goals, I'm only at 4.76%. And how that breaks down is I've done... So I changed kettlebell swings to ballistics. Here's why. It's because I was doing swings at the beginning uh, in January. And I was feeling okay, but then my back 
started like really getting angry about it. And so I'm like, okay, my back is maybe not ready to do this or I'm doing something wrong or I don't know, there's something. And then my, everything just got real locked up and my body was like, you're not doing that kid. So I've been, I spent most of this last month kind of like getting that back together with mobility work and kind of opening up my hamstrings and my glutes. And, um, I, you know, I realized like if I'm only doing swings and Turkish get-ups, then I'm not really focusing on cleaning presses or snatches or high pulls and all of those things could help my swing. They would, um, they're, they're not regressions. Like a clean is a very similar hinge movement. Um, same with a snatch and same with a high pull. A high pull is kind of in between a clean and a snatch where you're kind of just um, hip hinging and then pulling it up to here. Anyway, uh, so I'm like, okay, well, let's change the swing goal to ballistics. So a clean and press, a snatch, or a high pull also counts for that goal. I'm trying to do 50,000 of them because it, it's in the same spirit. A snatch is probably just as taxing as doing a kettlebell swing. The difference is you're in that hip hinge loaded position less time, basically, and your upper body's doing more of the work and less, you're relying less on your hips to do the work. So I can do more of them. And in the long run, it's actually probably better to have that variety. So anyway, um, I got 620 of that because I was at like 500 at the end of last month. And I basically didn't do any kettlebell stuff this month because I was, I was broken, basically. And then I hurt my wrist again. I bonked it playing hockey again. Um, and so it's functional enough to play hockey. I wrap it and I take pain meds when I play hockey, but I'm like having trouble doing, I can tell when I'm doing club stuff, my wrist is just leaking power. Like it hurts and it's, it doesn't hurt enough for me to like go see someone. It's just like definitely like sprained or tendonitis or something and but probably should try to be resting it as much as I can but I'm going the other way and I'm trying to do active recovery uh, because that's what a PT would put you on so I'm doing a lot of like flex bar stuff uh, these guys just twisted them and whatever I can do you know uh, squeezy stuff and extensor stuff Got egg egg squeezy egg uh, anyway I still only done four Turkish get-ups the whole year because my wrist hurts and I can't I can't put my palm flat to force my weight up so that's kind of out a um, hundred hours of generic weight swinging I'm at 645 minutes which is almost 11 hours not bad uh, and then 100 hours of mobility I'm at 418 minutes which is pretty good considering I started that goal last like this last month so anyway back to the goal list uh, Let's see, 4 million steps, we're at 13% as I drop the phone and scare the dog at the same time. He's right below me. <laughs> he didn't get bonked, he's off a couple feet. But. Uh, so, so far I have walked 411,237 steps, which is 10% of where I want to be, which means I'm behind by a lot. Uh, 246,000 off. 246, yeah, 246,000 off, so I need to get a lot more steps. My current daily goal is 11,766. I gotta do that every day if I wanna make that goal, but because this is a cluster goal, um, I just gotta burn more calories. And the good news is one burning one extra calorie is equal to eight steps, so I think I can make up that difference. Uh, because right now I've got 8,200, wait, 82,310 calories burned which that makes that my only goal that's on target so far. And it's actually a little bit ahead. So if I keep doing, bonking those calories out, I should get there. Um, and every time I play hockey, every time I have a hockey day, I usually get way over, I get, you know, 2000 calories burned. But I do need to up my steps. And the problem is like January, February are very slow months for me. And it sucks outside here in Nebraska. So you don't really want to walk the dog very far. And you just I, just, I don't have really work coming in. So it's it's a lot of being at home and it's hard to get a lot of steps when you're mostly here. But I'm doing my best and we're gonna get a treadmill up here and I think that'll help. Um, because I want March, March is gonna be a good month of lots of stuff and kicking of teeth. Uh, let's see, next goal, read 50 books. I'm at six, so I read three more books this month, pretty good. Um, 
50 Park Adventures. We're on six on that one too. Not bad, considering January, February sucks in Nebraska. We had some nice days. We took advantage of them, took the dog out to the park. Uh, unique experiences. I'm still only at, I'm at two. I had one last month, and I had one this month. I need to be doing like six a month. So I need to make up for that. The problem is, like a lot of unique experiences cost money. And when you're not having work come in in January and February, this is like the most broke time of the year for me because it's like there's not a lot of work coming in and I have my big tax bill coming up in April. So it's like, uh, you know, so we're not really going out to try new restaurants. <laughs> Uh, but that will be coming when the money starts coming back in and it's already March. I've already booked out a lot more jobs. So feeling a little better about that. And I'm going to be making more videos, which I'll talk about that in a little bit here. Uh, let's see, uh, market myself, pay down debt. That's at about five and a half percent. So I'm not doing great there. Uh, take and finish 50,000 photos. I'm at 3,420. So again, January, February, pretty slow. So that's not too bad. Uh, and then create 500 pieces of video content. This will be number 43 out of 500 is the goal. So that is uh, where I'm at. It's uh, it's lower than I wanted it to be because I wanted to be at 10%, which would put me ahead of where I was at this point last year. So at this point, I'm a little behind where I was last year. And last year, I finished at like 50%. Uh, so I don't want that to happen again this year. So March is I'm um, you know January February were the the dry runs and March is the the teeth kicking month I'm I'm yes I'm I'm amped up I'm gonna get my my go go beverages I'm gonna get my coffee maker down I'm gonna start making pots of coffee as opposed to curry one cup of coffee and so I can mess stuff up over here on this computer do stuff and I've been thinking a lot I've been doing a lot of research you want to call it that, watching a lot of YouTube videos, reading stuff, thoughts on things, and uh, looking at my analytics of this channel, and I'm realizing, like, as much as I like making the Whisper content, like, that is not what gets the views, and so, again, like, while I enjoy the Whisper content, and I get a lot out of it personally, I'm like, I want to be providing value for the viewers, because you provide value, people like it. If people like it, then I get paid, and that would be nice. Um, so I think this month I'm going to be making a lot more videos with uh, no talking, and a lot more talking videos are going to be more evergreen in nature, and I think a little less personal. Um, so that, I think, is going to be kind of the path moving forward a little bit. Uh, and I, what I really want to do is um, circle scratching videos. So I don't know if you've seen my circle scratching videos. They're some of my more popular ones. Um, but it's it's a it's a ASMR sound I really enjoy. It's it's this. I think I wanted to a month of that. And I don't know. I thought like originally I was like maybe March could be that month. Um, of like 30 days, 31 days in March. Uh, I learned from Parts and Racket, 31 days in March. 31 days of doing circle scratch videos. Uh, and I think that'd be great. And I think making more shorts would be great. I made a short uh, the other day and it did, it got 250 views, which is more than normal. So that's pretty good. Um, I don't know what a good barometer for a short is, but I, if it makes more than, I think if it goes over 100 views for me, I feel like that's a pretty good number. So I'm gonna do that a little bit. Um, and then I've got hockey videos. I've got a bunch of them. I got a backlog built up, and I really need to just crank those those out. Uh, I'm trying to swear less, but I still want to say fuck. I said fuck. Take that YouTube. 14 minutes in, you're not watching this far. YouTube. They have robots that can find you saying fuck. <laughs> but I think a after the first like minute or two, they don't care. Like yeah, you'd say fuck all you want after two minutes. Go go nuts, buddy. So. Anyway, um, yeah, that's where I'm at, and I, I don't know, I just feel like January, February, I've just been feeling very depressed, and just been getting bummed, and I'm just super stressed out, and so, like, I don't, you know, the, what I, whatever I'm doing in January and February has not been effective at alleviating my stress, it's only made me more stressed, so I think I need to focus on action and make action happen and I think that will improve my mental situation
situation and I think that will branch out and do good things and I think an easy way for that is to make a lot of content which is one of my goals and I think if I can make daily videos for this next month um, good things will happen because it seems like when I get into that daily habit of making videos it tends to do pretty good on the channel and you see some, some pretty steady growth so uh, that's my plan for this month uh, how are your goals doing I want to know did you make goals and if not there is 10 months left in this year set a fucking goal and do 10% of it this month and 10% of it next month and 10% of it the month after that and it could be it doesn't have to be crazy ride your bike 2,460 miles it could be for you whatever that looks like maybe for you it's like 100 miles a month that's like 3 miles a day like that's not hard you could do that in 15 minutes at an easy pace 15 minutes at an easy pace you got that no problem you know, maybe it's books, one book a month. If you read, fuck, if you read one book every two months, I think that's still more books than most, like, Americans read. So you'd still be, like, doing better. And if you made one or two of those books, like, career development books, whew, doggy. And I got recommendations. If you need recommendations for self-development, career development, oh, fuck, I read all those. Okay? I'm, I'm big on that shit. So... Uh, I would love to talk shop about books, and I might make a YouTube series, an ASMR book review series where I talk about things learned, because I love self-development, I love setting goals, and I love doing shit, I love getting fucking hyped up, and I love going all gas, no brakes, and I love getting excited about stuff, and I don't know why I've been so fucking miserable the last two months, or three months, four months, I don't know, it's just, I feel like it's been a malaise for a while, and I want to unfuck myself. And March is the month. It's as good a month as any to unfuck yourself. So let's get out there. Let's start kicking some teeth and fucking taking names, right? Let's go. All gas, no brakes. We can do this. I believe in you. I believe in me. I think we can make great things happen. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Hit the like button and all that shit. Okay. Have a good one. See you next time.